basically that poem, but I rewrote it for my own experiences. So it's called In an Alternate, In an Alternate Universe Where I'm Unfazed by the People Who Love Me. <laughs> when she told me she only dates women of colour, I torched all the clothes in her wardrobe. <laughs> Apart from the black ones. <laughs> and slightly unscrewed all the light bulbs. When he said he saw no future with me, I learned to time travel. Travel back to a hot day in August in the late 80s and handed his father a condom. <laughs> the day he told me I would never meet his mother, I purposely bumped into her every day for a year. <laughs> every day until my name fell out of her mouth at his dinner table. When he told me I looked like the, woman, the type of woman that only dated white men, I pulled open the kitchen drawer, extracted the ice cream scoop, and plunged it into the corner of his eyes. I suppose now I look like nothing. <laughs> Once, we stood in a room and she told me my poetry was uninteresting. And that, I didn't, and that it didn't contain enough metaphors. So I quite literally <laughs> put my fingers up my throat, grabbed my pain from behind my eyes and I held it in my hand and waited until she said something before I shoved it down her throat and watched her choke on my hurt. At 10 years old, my first boyfriend asked me to keep our relationship a secret, so I cut out his tongue. <laughs> I have a lot of blood on my hands in this universe, <laughs> but no tears, no 3 a.m. texts of all those things I should have said. In this universe, I wear my heart like a clutch bag, close to me, but still dangling, able to give to anyone, I suppose. Unfazed is the wrong word. But in this universe, I am not unhappy. I do not have to be understanding. I just get to be. There are no angry black women in this universe. Or queer women with chips on their shoulders. There are only chips, which everyone eats. Because in this, because in this universe, your waste does not dictate how much love you deserve. There is no wasted time here, though. We only cry on Wednesdays at three because everything needs water to grow. <laughs> we dwell on nothing. It either is or it isn't. It existed or it didn't. There is no wondering here. We give ourselves enough love to remain unfazed. Well, not unfazed, but at the very least, free. Thank you. Thank you.